Ready to create your first project? Here's an example to get you started, an employee satisfaction survey. This basic three-page survey will include a range of question types, single question branching, and a few more custom settings. More advanced features will be covered in separate videos. Logging in, it's easy to see where to start creating a new project. Click Create Project and choose Survey. You might choose from the template bank, but you can always create something brand new. First, enter a title, Employee Satisfaction Survey. Then, organize this project into the right folder, confirm the primary language, and choose any additional languages. You won't be able to change the primary language, but you can always add more secondary languages later. Next, you'll see the project title across the top of the screen. Starting with design, you'll see the rest of the process across each tab. Distribution, tracking, reporting, and data management. A quick note, while not all features are available in all packages, the basic flow will still be the same. From the top, add the logo and title on every page. Simple enough. Next, to add a question, pick from the menu of options on the left, then drag and drop onto the blank canvas. A common place to start is a radio button question. First, enter the question. Overall, how satisfied are you working here? The edit menu pops up to show additional options. Then, enter the answer options. But wait, is this the right question type? If you've added a radio button but you want participants to give more than one answer, switch to check box here. Or, in this case, answers are on a rating scale. So choose a rating question to give weights to each response. If a question is really important, like this one, mark it as mandatory. Depending on the question type, you'll also see more question level options, like changing the display of answer options or pre-populating known information. Save and continue to add questions. As you add questions, keep the end report in mind. This helps you to choose the right type for each question. Next, a text box. A text box is a great way to find out what employees think, but you can also set size and character limits to focus their responses. Click the corner of the box to extend the size, then set the character limits. You can format the box to only accept certain types of content, but in this case, words make the most sense. To share a piece of information, like an introduction, Descriptive text can help to clarify or set expectations. Again, drag and drop to the top of the page, then enter the content. Fast forward and all the questions are in. To make sure you're asking each employee the right questions, use single question branching. Branching is a page-to-page -page function that lets you decide the path employees should take based on the answers they provide. In this case, some employees should be asked about the Employee Benefits Program, and some should not. To add branching, find that decision question, click on Logic, and select Single Question Branching. Confirming the path for each answer option, save the choices. Wrapping up the content, review and run spell check. Then customize the appearance to match your style guide. Under Visual Settings, Choose a theme, then a style, then decide whether to explore advanced customization. Change colors, even drilling down to advanced options for more specifics. Review your options here, previewing as you go. All set? Save this style for future use, then preview on your own project for web, tablet, and mobile. Wrapping up the design, be sure to review your settings. Should this project be anonymous? What should the thank you page say? Should you set an expiration date now? Plus, why not send an instant thanks email to everyone who participates? Nice! More design options for better results. Make the most of every project with a strong start. Next stop, distribution.